big man thing, yeah? Exile Scissors. This time I'm going to give you a thorough analysis of how I played this game against Urgot. You can see that I am trying to go and chase this Urgot on his way back to top lane from leashing his jungler. Viger appears out of the blue in the top lane, I don't know why. Maybe they, he wanted to cheese me together with Urgot, so I'm going to give him a couple of auto attacks and I'm trying to ignite him when he's low HP. This way I can waste both, both of his summoner spells. And then you can see how the arrow is going on top of the Urgot. This is the way of my positioning to not get hit by his passive and this way I can get a double kill in the early game. So then I push the wave to his tower and make a cheater recall. So in this situation what I can do is just to push the wave uh, as fast as possible. I have to be uh, cautious of Urgot's damage and then I uh, proceeded to uh, go back to the base and uh, coming back to top lane. So uh, then I recalled and come, uh, came back to top lane, I could pull the wave to my tower and then push it back to his tower. So the next reasonable move was to come back to top lane and then try to pull a freeze on this Urgot. He couldn't do much about it with a, a, a usual trade with me, so I uh, decided just to keep it frozen. And I was looking at the bot lane the whole time because I knew Lison was around there. So I decided to TP to my tower and help my teammates out and join the skirmish. In this situation I want to, you to notice how I am, uh, uh, why I uh, ignited the switch. It's because Senna was healing him all the time and I knew that I would win. In this situation I had my conqueror stacked up so I was not uh, afraid of Senna killing me. So after that I decided to go back to top lane and push it as fast as possible. I want the Sorgat to be under his tower. I just uh, traded him a little bit and dodged his E. I was able to uh, get his teleport out of him. I'm going to push this wave to his tower and then I'm going to try and get the camps from my jungler since he's not even on the top side. I can afford to get it and then I'm uh, able to go back to lane when this wave is stacked up and I'm going to uh, pull a freeze on the circuit again. This is a way to increase your CS by a vast amount. This is how you can get 10 CS per minute. And the way is just to get uh, jungle camps on top of your lane minions. While sitting on top lane I, I uh, decided to go and uh, mess with this Lee Sin while he was doing the Herald. Uh, I know that Urgot is going to join but I am not afraid because I am fed as fuck at this point and I can uh, uh, afford to try and 1v3 my opponents. So here, uh, here I am uh, killing this Lee Sin, also I am chasing Viger. I cannot really chase Urgot right now because he's too far away but I still got the double kill that was a very nice skirmish. After recalling to my base I was on my way to go to the top lane so I took the Grum because I can. My jungler is not playing top side anyway so I can afford to take it. Then I uh, decided to push the wave and, and here's what happened. I wanted to join my uh, team as they were fighting dragon. I, unfortunately Zack didn't steal it. Uh, I decided to not chase Twitch because he's invisible and he has a lot of movement speed so it was reasonable for me to try and catch this season. Unfortunately I didn't uh, hit him with R2, I blocked the uh, Senna's CC with my W, I still didn't kill this Lee Sin, but still it was a pretty good skirmish, at least in my head. So uh, then I proceeded to uh, take his camps, also I decided to uh, increase my CS, uh, I took the 3 minions right here, also I took a couple next waves in the uh, incoming waves from uh, the enemy team. While I was farming, I noticed that Viger is coming through the jungle, I decided to ignite him and burst him down with my spells. I managed to uh, get the kill on this Viger, that meant that I could uh, proceed and get some more CS. Here I can see that Urgot is not alone, at least in this around, so I decided to go to recall uh, and go back to base and then I decided to come back to top lane and get some more CS. Remember that being a uh, high CS, high CS per minute is very very important on Gwen because it lets you scale as fast as possible and Gwen is very scalable champion. 
So here I am so fat that I'm not afraid to go and engage by, for my team in this team fight. I have lots of damage, I didn't land my R3 in the season, uh, that's my bronze tendencies actually, so that's not very good, but uh, I still managed to carry this team fight so I can now uh, take all these CS and also uh, proceed to go to Lee Sin's jungle and steal his camps. Uh, I, I was threatening Lee Sin at this point here, I just um, messing with him and wasting his time. Here I, you can see me uh, taking his jungle camps, notice how, how I am sitting in his jungle the whole game. He cannot really farm here because I am always here and uh, his jungle camps are busy. I am taking all the CS and I am creating a huge CS gap between, between me and this Lee Sin. Also after taking these uh, jungle camps I can go and take the CS from the top lane. Remember that you can uh, really increase your CS if you are mixing uh, farming jungle camps and then on top of that you get minions from the lane. Uh, here you can see that uh, at this point I am 10 CS per minute which is a very huge achievement for, for Gwen. Gwen doesn't have the best wave gear ever. Uh, so if you get 10 CS per minute you will be very fine, I promise. So here you can see that I am going to take the drag. It is not very challenging because Lisin is on the mid lane. I have no... Uh, problem to just go and solo it. Uh, I don't know even why Zack joins here, but it's fine. Uh, then I'm going to go back to base. Alright, so you can see me here uh, trying to split push on mid lane, uh, but I don't know why Jin is joining me. This was a very bad move for him because he could be useful on Baron. I let my uh, team do Baron while I am uh, pushing mid lane because I think that's the most optimal way to do it. Uh, and also the enemy team is forced to come to me, uh, they cannot join uh, the skirmish on the Baron. I'm going to try and attempt to uh, kill at least one person here, that would be fine. Unfortunately in this situation I didn't manage to kill anyone. I, it was a very close situation in all those instances when, where uh, the whole enemy team was on low HP. Uh, unfortunately I'm not as strong or I didn't play it as well as I could so I didn't want to fight the enemy team but still uh, my death granted a Baron buff for my team. So next up uh, I know that my TP is up and uh, there is no really uh, a big objective right here so I can choose whichever lane I want so I decided to take bot lane. Uh, I'm going to kill this Senna and then I'm going to try and push the top lane as much as possible. I'm going to draw pressure uh, apply pressure to top lane and draw all the enemy team to me as uh, hard as possible. Uh, I, I can see my uh, team fighting on the mid lane, but since I don't care and I am so fat, notice how I'm watching the top lane situation all the time, or more like mid lane situation. I can see that Zack is uh, getting killed right there, so I decide to uh, save his uh, blob and TP there. In uh, case the team fight were to take place in there, I would be able to uh, kill some of my opponents. I am dodging the CC of Twitch with my W here. Unfortunately, I am not <laughs> going to chase, chase this Lee because I am not able to. He's too mobile for my champion. I am able to kill this Viger and then, uh, because I am so fat, I am not afraid to go and engage on the rest of the enemy team. My W is going up, so I can go and uh, bruise through all the uh, enemy champions. At this point I can easily 1v3 them because I am so fat, I am well farmed, I am uh, uh, acquiring all those skills, so uh, it was not very challenging for me to do it. So this is the point in the game when I get Ravenous Death Cup. Uh, if you remember my video about the tier item, uh, item tier list, uh, I highly suggest you uh, getting this 8 tier item really, I ranked it 8 tier for a reason because it doesn't give you HP. But here, uh, since I am so fat and I can afford to 1v5 the enemy team right now, uh, I can easily get it for damage and it will be healing me a lot. So, uh, lack of HP will be compensated by the heal that you can get from your passive, which scales with your AP. So, this is, uh, this is a very good option in this game. I decided to not uh, come back to base to uh, stop Urgot's split push because my split push is faster. Uh, Gwen is a faster split pusher than Urgot. Uh, see how I am melting this tower easily. I can uh, pressure uh, the top lane. Uh, I decided to uh, join the team fight right here. I am still not using my ult just yet because I know that I am not going to be able to hit multiple targets with that. I was saving it for the right situation. Uh, fortunately, my team was so ahead at this point that I didn't really uh, need to use my uh, ult in uh, an of a very offensive way. 
Uh, so this is how uh, this game went. I think this was a very well played well play by me. I managed to uh, have a high level of uh, experience and then high level of CS. Yeah, I think this was a very good performance. See the next one. Peace! You'll always be my night sky.